everyone, and thank you so much for being at our winter band concert. On stage, we have a fifth grade band, and after fifth grade band, we'll be the sixth grade band. We are so excited to share our music with you tonight. We've been working really hard on all of our music. These fifth graders got their instruments for the first time back in August, and I'm blown away with how much they have accomplished in about four months, um, and I hope that you will too. Um, this is a fantastic fifth grade band, and I'm gonna have our speakers take it away for us. So come on up. I forgot that our first speaker is gone. Um, so hello everyone and welcome to the 5th and 6th grade winter band concert. We are so happy that you are here. We have had a blast learning about our new instruments. We first received our instruments during summer band back in August and we have learned and achieved so much in the last four months. Tonight, fifth grade band will beginning play sections from our red book. Our red book includes songs, teaches important concepts about music in this new notes, fingerlings, rhythms, melodies, and dynamics. The first three songs that will be that will be playing focus on half notes and whole notes in the in the time signature. For Four, four. A whole note gets four beats and a half note gets two beats. It also focuses on whole rest and half rest. On a rest, we do not have to play, but we still have to count its beats. The second part of our red book section will be focusing on quarter notes. A quarter note is a rhythm that only gets one beat. These songs were our favorite songs to play in rehearsal, and we hope you enjoy them too.
song, Solos and Solis. A solo is when one band member plays the melody alone. A solo is when one group of musicians play the melody together. Each solo will feature solos from the band. Their names are listed in the program. After each song of solos will stay. Please hold your applause until the end of the song.
This piece includes our first accidental. An accidental is a note that is not originally in the key signature. Our accidental note is from the A flat scale. We learned how to read our fingering charts so we could play our new note. Thank you for coming out to hear us. Our music, we were very excited to share all of our musical accomplishments with you tonight. The sixth grade band will take the stage next with four recorded pieces and some holiday tunes. Here's the fifth grade band with Fanfare Heroka.
To begin our sixth grade portion, the students asked to play some holiday tunes for the concert. Um, and when I was choosing band pieces, I didn't pick any winter themed band pieces just because I think that the band pieces should reflect all the concepts that we are learning in class. So we have these books um, written by Bruce Pearson that have a bunch of different holiday tunes that the students can play in ch what we call chamber groups. And so uh, I told them that they could get together with some other friends in band and they can play these tunes with their group. So we have, um, first off we have Dawson and Jimmy on baritone. And we have a very special sixth grader. Um, his name is Drew Holt and he's taking guitar lessons from me. And he's been a great student to have for all of last year and all this year. And we thought, it was the perfect opportunity for him to play um, and show his guitaring off to you. So, they're going to be playing Jolly Old St. Nicholas and Jingle Bells. We hope you enjoy the sixth grade portion of our concert.
And Bark was written by a female composer, Carol Britton Chambers. Chambers is a well-known female composer in the band world. Each year, she is commissioned to compose and arrange music for concert band, marching band, orchestra, and other ensembles. In 2019, she was named the winner of Women Band Directors International. She's previously taught in middle and high school band. The word in bark means to start something new. Chambers chose Embark as the title for this piece because young musicians are embarking on a new journey together. As sixth graders, we're able to dive into new music that challenges us. We're also learning and playing music by composers who are usually under-presidented. We are excited to embark on this new journey together. At the Hop is a rocking tune arranged by a composer and arranger, Bill Simon. Mr. Simon has taught and arranged music for 35 years. While doing so, he has also taught at several schools in Wisconsin. He is the founder of Power of the Winds publication where he publishes beginning band method books. Fun fact, he was Mrs. Bowen's middle school band director. At the Hop taught us about the concert A flat major scale. The A flat major scale on the piano has four flats. That's a lot of flats. The A flat major scale is used as an accidental in the piece. An accidental is a note that is not originally in the key signature. This piece also taught us about a new arithmetic concept called syncopation. Syncopation is when musicians play on the off beats instead of on the down beats. In the percussion section, you will hear our three percussionists mimicking a drum set. Our percussionists have also learned a new arithmetic concept called 16th notes and 8th 16th notes. Now it's only fitting us that us band kids, band kids dress the part for this groovy piece. <laughs>
Chesapeake was written by a band composer, Brian Bangle. He wrote this piece for his fiance, Lisa, who is an ele elementary school teacher. The band director, the music was intense by, by the beautiful sensation of Chesapeake. This lyric section focuses on four bar phrasing. Phrasing in music is a lot of like forming sentences when speaking. There is a beginning and end to a sentence as well as a pause. We have practiced breathing together to start each phrase and we have practiced watching the conductor to know when to end the phrase.
Ready to Fly is written by a Japanese Canadian composer, Kate Nishimura. Kate Nishimura is a new and upcoming composer in the band world. She is an active environmentalist advocating for conversation and awareness through her music. All of her music is based off of different, different aspects of nature. She is also a strong advocate for the value of music education. She is continuously working hard to provide equal opportunities for everyone, especially for the communities that are historically underrepresented. Ready to Fly was inspired by young bird calls, especially the red-capped chickadee and the red-winged blackbird. Although this piece, throughout this piece, you will hear the melody being passed around from section to section. This piece taught us how to actively listen to other section parts while still playing playing with arms. Kate Nishimura connected the idea of young birds to young musicians, young musicians learning new musical concept. Uh, concepts are similar to young birds learning to use their voices to make beautiful bird sounds. Both communicate and inspire throughout through their sound. Thank you for coming to our concert tonight and for su supporting the music in our school. For the sixth grade band plays the last piece, I just want to say a few thank yous. Um, a huge thank you to all of the fifth and sixth grade teachers out there. We have amazing fifth and sixth grade teachers and they have been so helpful and so supportive of the um, music program here. They let the students leave for about their classes for about 15 minutes to come down and have a lesson. Um, they make sure that all the kids know when all the events are happening. They make sure that they have all of their materials. They're just a fantastic team to work with and I, I truly am so thankful for them. I'm also very thankful for um, my specialist co-workers, um, Kate Martinez and Sherry Meester for also supporting the music program and being great um, mentors for me as well. I want to thank uh, Derek Nelson and Brian Korf for being the most amazing um, administration that I could work with. It's not at every school that you find administration that really support the arts as much as they do. And with every idea, with every trip that I've brought up to them, they have approved it and helped me work through it. Um, this year, the sixth grade band went down to the University of Minnesota and they saw their indoor marching band concert. And for the first time, um, for a lot of these students, they've never seen a marching band or have even seen that many instruments on stage. Um, so that was just a fantastic opportunity that our administration let us do. And so I, I truly thank you for that. Uh, Mr. Fitzsimmons and Mr. Biles, I thank you for being the best mentors for me. They really took me under their wing when I came in last year and I really appreciate it. I also want to say thank you to Jeff Peter. Um, he was in my position forever and he has built the not only band program but just the elementary music program up so much and we have so many good resources and the kids just love music and they still talk about him um, and so I just thank you for building that program for me to come into. Um, the first fifth grade band that we heard, I'm going to talk about you now, um, I love having them in bands. There's so many of them, there's over 30 of them, and they come into band and it's instant loud noises for the first five minutes because they're just so excited to play and I'm not going to stop it because they, they just love playing. Um, they have learned music on their own, they've searched it up on the internet and learned it by ear and they share it, we have, share, um, we have show and tell at the end of rehearsals sometimes and they stand up and they share the, their new songs that they've learned. Um, what I really appreciate about this fifth grade band is just how eager and determined that they are at everything that they do. Um, the reason that we were able to play the band piece that we did tonight was because that they, they go home, they practice, they work on it, and they come back and in rehearsal, it's perfect. Um, and you don't get that with a lot of bands. So, fifth graders, I hope you never lose that eagerness and that curiosity that you have because that's why you're as good of musicians as you are. So I thank you, fifth graders, you're, you're rocking it. Now sixth graders, I 
do tell you this every day, even though you don't, you say I don't, but I truly love you, I do. Um, they're, I, they're my band babies, so I started last year, and they started a band journey like last year, so we all started this together, and they have come so far, and I really appreciate just how welcoming and kind all of these students are up here. Um, they are a great community, they are not afraid to play in front of each other, um, they're kind to one another, that makes the whole band um, experience just so much better, having a very kind and respectful ensemble. Um, their music is hard this year. I programmed a lot of hard music for them that have a lot of new concepts that we just started working on in September, and it's, they're doing an amazing job with it. So, sixth grade band, you have one more piece, and you're gonna rock it. Thank you so much for coming out for our concert, and we'll see you back in April.